Uh, I am very honored to have the opportunity to present at Asia CCUS Network. My talk is titled Tomokumai CCS Demonstration Project Achievement and Future Outlook. First, I'd like to show a video of the Tomokumai project. Uh, video, please. The Tomokumai CCS Demonstration Project, Japan's first large scale CCS demonstration project, was launched in 2012 by the Japanese government in Tomakomai City, Hokkaido, Japan. The project is being carried out over nine years in the western part of the Tomakomai port. Some 100,000 tons of CO2 was injected each year from April 2016, and the project completed the initial plan of 300,000 tons of cumulative injection on November 22, 2019. Aiming for the practical use of CCS technology, the objective of the project is to demonstrate the viability of a full-chain CCS system from capture to storage and prove that CCS is safe and reliable. The CO2 source is a gas supply facility in the Idemitsu Kosan Hokkaido refinery, adjacent to the Tomakomai demonstration plant. Gas containing carbon dioxide is sent by a pipeline to the Tomokomai facilities. In the Tomokomai capture facilities, an advanced two-stage absorption process was applied. The CO2 absorption tower uses activated amine to absorb the carbon dioxide. The three towers comprising the main equipment in this advanced process achieved world-class energy efficiency. The captured carbon dioxide is then sent to a compression facility to be injected into deep offshore sub-seabed reservoirs. The two injection wells in this project were drilled using directional drilling technology. One well targets the Moibetsu Formation, a sandstone layer between the depths of 1,000 to 1,200 meters. The other well extends into the Takinoue Formation, a volcanoclastic layer between 2,400 to 2,800 meters deep. By drilling the wells from onshore to offshore, drilling costs were saved and disturbance of the marine environment and port activities was avoided. An extensive monitoring system was established to monitor the behavior of the injected CO2 as well as natural earthquakes and micro-seismicity. Monitoring was started prior to the startup of CO2 injection and conducted throughout the injection period and will be continued after the termination of CO2 injection. Temperature and pressure sensors were set in the injection wells. There are three observation wells equipped with temperature and pressure sensors as well as seismic sensors. In addition, an ocean bottom cable equipped with 72 seismic sensors and four ocean bottom seismometers are continuously monitoring the sub seabed conditions. Through the operation of a full chain CCS system from capture to storage, the safety and reliability of CCS has been demonstrated. Looking to the future, the Japanese government is considering the use of the Tomakomai facilities to conduct the demonstration of carbon recycling technology, aiming for the effective use of carbon dioxide. I hope uh, the video gave you an overview of the Tomokomai project. I would like to follow with a short presentation providing some additional explanation. First is a summary of Tomokomai project. This slide uh, summarizes the main results of Tomokomai project. We have successfully operated a full chain CCS system demonstrating its safety and reliability. The CO2 capture system achieved world-class performance in energy efficiency. The onshore to offshore injection scheme saved 
during course and avoided disturbing the local livelihood. Safety and reliability of CCA system was demonstrated. We have dispelled concerns about earthquakes. A major earthquake occurred in 2018 at a location 30 km from the injection site. We confirmed that the earthquake did not cause damage to the CO2 reservoirs, and experts confirmed that there was no connection between the CO2 storage and earthquake. Our public outreach program has been largely successful, with no major opposition to the project. Next for the future outlook of the Tomakomai project. Due to the disturbance, due to the distances between the CO2 sources and storage locations in Japan, long distance transportation by ship is believed to be more feasible than land transportation by such means as pipelines. In order to verify this, the Japanese government is currently planning to demonstrate long distance transportation of CO2. The CO2 SIP transportation project consists of two work scopes. The first scope is R&D and design of a commercial scale SIP to transport CO2 at a scale of 1 million tons per year. The second scope is to build and operate a SIP to transport CO2 at 10,000 tons per year to Tomakumai. The project period is from fiscal year 2021 to fiscal year 2026. This slide is further explanation of scope 2 of the demonstration project. The Japanese government is currently planning to demonstrate long-distance transportation of CO2 captured and liquefied at the coal-fired power plant in Maizuru City and transport it to Tomakomai. The plan is to build and operate a ship with a gross tonnage of approximately 1,000 tons to transport CO2 to Tomakomai under two different CO2 conditions, medium temperature and medium pressure, and low temperature and low pressure. The government aiming, is aiming to start the ship transportation demonstration in 2024, which will be the world's first CO2 ship transportation for CCUS, with the objective of identifying issues for social implementation in anticipation of the future era of large-scale liquefied CO2 ship transportation. Through this research and development, Japan CCS, ENAA ENA, Itochu, and Nippon Steel aim to contribute to a sustainable decarbonized society through the realization of the social implementation of CCUS. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention.